Hello children. Today what are we going to talk about? We are going to talk about animals that swim. Have you ever wondered which animals can swim and which cannot? Can giraffe swim? Can a kangaroo swim? Can an elephant swim? Let's find out about some of the animals that can swim. Are you all ready? Let's go. This is an elephant. Yes. Did you know elephants can swim? Elephants are excellent swimmers. Despite being the largest land mammal, they can easily swim across rivers and lakes. Do you know elephants are the largest land animals? But despite its size, it can swim easily. Look how this elephant is swimming. Elephants become buoyant in water and use their trunk as a snorkel. This elephant is using its trunk as a snorkel to breathe in air. Yes, tigers can swim. Tigers are powerful swimmers and have been known to swim great distances to hunt or to cross rivers. And young tigers often play in water and the adult tigers lounge in streams or lakes to stay cool. See here the tigers are playing in water. See how this tiger is swimming. Which animal is this? This is a capybara. Capybara are native to South America and they are the world's largest rodents and they have webbed feet which allows them to swim and even sleep under water by keeping their nostrils just above. They can sleep under water. How do they do it? They keep their nostrils above and they sleep under water. What is this? This is a moose. Moose escape predators by swimming into a lake or by crossing a river. They also get into the water to avoid being pestered by mosquitoes. They get into the water because they don't want to be bitten by mosquitoes. And sometimes if a predator is trying to attack them, Moose will escape and will go into the water. Did you know even kangaroos can swim? Kangaroos are surprisingly strong swimmers and they use their powerful back legs to swim in a dog paddle movement. They use their back legs. Look at this kangaroo swimming. Oh, and now it's jumping out of the water. They use their tail when swimming and they swim to avoid predators. Like how moose does. The same way kangaroos also swim to avoid predators. And they can use their forepaws to drown the pursuers. Yes, pigs can swim. Pigs are excellent swimmers. They cross water to seek food sources, escape danger or to find a better habitat. When they are looking for food and they see a river and they have to cross it. They cross it, they swim to find, look for food, when there is danger to escape it or to find a better place to live in. Yes, rats can swim up to 72 hours at a stretch. 
That means for three days it can keep swimming, keep swimming. And it can stay underwater for three minutes. Wow! And they swim in floods to get to dry places. When there are floods, they swim in it to go and reach a dry place. Sloth, yes, this is a sloth. Sloth spend most of their time in the rainforest canopy and are notoriously slow and lazy. Sloths are known to be slow and lazy. However, their movement in water is three times faster than their movement on land. They can move faster in water than wa land and they can hold their breath for 40 minutes underwater. If they go underwater, they can stay for 40 minutes underwater. Look at this blood swim. Sloths can do the breast stroke with ease. Because sloths inhabit rainforest, they are prone to seasonal flooding. The ability to swim is essential to their survival. Rainforests tend to flood easily, so they need to know how to swim. Which animal is this? This is an armadillo. Although they don't look like they are best swimmers, they do like to swim and they are very, very good at it. They are able to travel quite a distance underwater, both doggy paddling and walking along the bottoms of streams and ponds. How interesting, isn't it? The End Hope you all enjoyed learning about all the animals that can swim. Till next time, see you all everybody.